What this means is it's a total game changer for the management of diabetes. It's a game changer for the outcomes of our patients with diabetes. They uh, usually have hypertension, dyslipidemia, chronic kidney disease, goes hand in hand with diabetes and with the reason why these patients die, which is cardiovascular disease. So to have this indication, to have this class of drugs, it's just a great time to have diabetes, honestly, if you're going to have it. I would hope that that would be the case. Uh, we definitely do need to do a better job with monitoring these patients. It's not enough just to look at the estimated glomerular filtration rate in our patients. We have to be looking for the presence or absence of albuminuria. It's actually the presence of albuminuria regardless of where their GFR is. If they've got protein showing up in their urine, they are really at an increased risk for developing kidney disease as well as cardiovascular disease. So um, I would hope that having new tools in our chest can only help providers look a little deeper and do those assessments on patients. The SGLT2 inhibitor is what we've seen across the class is this benefit to the kidneys, the reduction in albuminuria. Uh, of course, they help with weight loss in our patients with diabetes. The great news is, is that for the glucose management of these patients using an SGLT2 inhibitor, they're effective with an EGFR of 45 or higher. However, what we're seeing with Credence data and what we're starting to see in some of the other studies that we've done with SGLT2 inhibitors is that despite not having glucose management effective when their EGFR is lower than 45, they are still achieving or receiving the benefit as far as kidney protection, cardiovascular. So what's happening with the SGLT2 inhibitor class is just really remarkable. It's groundbreaking. It's changing the lives of our patients, and it's changing how we as providers can help manage those patients. We always have to worry about volume depletion when using a, a medication that uses a mechanism of action that includes volume depletion in some way. So making sure that those patients stay well hydrated. There's also an increased risk for uh, mycotic infections in patients who use these agents, again, because of the glucosuria. So making, again, making sure that they stay hydrated, good hygiene practices, and then any concerns that they may have that they should address with their providers right away. But by and large, these are pretty good class of drugs, relatively well tolerated, and um, there's some differences in between each drug that's in the class. But overall, what we're seeing as far as renal protective and cardiovascular uh, protection is really remarkable.